in shopping malls, in restaurants, and in homes. Everywhere tweens and teens can be found, they can be found with their favorite devices. Tablets, iPods, smartphones, any device that can keep them connected, they keep nearby. The same can be said increasingly of adults and increasingly in the workplace. Technology is driving productivity in nearly every profession or field of endeavor. Schools strive to prepare students for these workplaces. These devices, however, have been absent from the classroom. That's no longer the case in Chesapeake Public Schools. Beginning in the fall of 2013, students in Chesapeake High Schools were allowed, encouraged, to bring their devices to school. It's an initiative called Bring Your Own Device. It'll be phased into middle schools during the second semester if all goes well in the high schools. We've got a responsibility to equip our students to uh, compete with a global learning community. That means they need to learn while they're in school how to use these devices. We already are integrating our instructional program with technology. This also fosters student ownership of their own learning. It's their device, they're using it to learn. Uh, they have real-time access to information on these devices. They use them at home, they can use them at school now, and it gives them a little personalized feeling in the classroom, so it helps them a lot. Also, we've had requests from teachers to allow this so that they can integrate that technology in their classroom and allow more involvement of their students uh, in their lessons. The definition of a device is pretty broad. Students are allowed to bring most any device such as a tablet, an e-reader, a netbook, um, those type of devices where, that can wirelessly connect to the division's network. The uses of these devices are as varied as the devices themselves. There's many, many different applications that can be used in a classroom with Bring Your Own Device. It's truly up to the teacher and really how it fits into the lesson. For example, students, a teacher could use a polling device that could be used with cell phone or laptop or any tablet. Students can do on-the-spot research, very, very handy tool using ebooks or using articles and pulling them into their device students can easily annotate do outlines uh, very easily look up a definition of a word that they may not know they can listen to podcasts that only just scratches the surface of what may happen with bring your own device in the classroom it won't be a free-for-all in the hallways and lunchrooms and classrooms. The policy dealing with these devices places limitations on how students connect and when and how they can be used. For instance, all students will connect through the school division's wireless internet service so that content can be filtered. The schools determined to use uh, the red, yellow, green concept. In other words, if a school designates a red zone, that would mean that there will not be any device used, used in, that, in that area of the school. Uh, there's been some consistency with the schools, but in some schools there may be slight differences. You could have a yellow zone, which means that there may be some restriction of that device used, which the school would explain that. And the green zone, which means there is unlimited use of that device for appropriate, uh, appropriate use. In the classroom, the teacher has the option of making the classroom a red zone, a green zone, and the same teacher may have a time in the class where it's a green zone, they can use those devices, but then in another segment of the lesson that then becomes a red zone. If students don't have their own devices, schools are prepared to deal with that too. Students' academic performance and their grades should not, will not be affected by this. Teachers that plan lesson activities around technology will be checking out uh, school resources for those students that don't have their own devices. Bring Your Own Device is an initiative that uses the latest technology to provide quality instruction and prepare students for the technology-rich environment in which they'll be operating after high school.